Woodmanston Works treats water and supplies water to over 100,000 residents and business customers. Uh, we're investing over £22 million here over the next three years to upgrade and increase the capacity of this works so that we can continue to supply our customers with high quality water for now and generations to come. And that's part of our £100 million programme over the next five years for investment in our mains network, our treatment works and our pumping stations. So the purpose of the lagoon is to take treat a process water from this site, from the treated water site, which we can't put into supply, and rainwater drainage, and allow it to, we can pump it from here so we can control the flow to the lagoon, and we allow that then to seep back into the ground naturally. Now clearly we don't want to put anything into that lagoon that could um, pollute the source because that's exactly where we take our water from. We've purchased a strip of land, uh, about a third of Drake's Field, along the south side, so that we can construct a lagoon, and that during construction of the main works on this treatment work site, we can have temporary porter cabins for the staff, and also staff parking, and hard standing for material storage. On completion of the lagoon, we'll be uh, installing permanent fencing, around the site and the height of that um, has taken into consideration the concerns of people that live nearby. So actually the proposed height has been lowered to accommodate their concerns. On completion of the main contract, the area around the lagoon that we've purchased or leased will be reinstated. All the hard standing will be removed and will be topsoiling and landscaping um, as discussed with local residents associations and the local councillors. We've carried out ecological surveys and we'll be reinstating the ground in accordance with DEFRA guidelines, taking care of all the wildlife that's in the area, replacing the habitat that's there. Um, we'll also be keeping the footpaths open that surround the site during the construction period and afterwards. Our area of this field will only ever be used for waterworks purposes. The Greenbelt status does not change and nothing that we're doing will change that status. We have planning permission because this project is of both national and local importance. We will have to construct access into the site to enable construction of the lagoon and access, of course, to our site offices. The roads will be constructed of roadstone or hardcore. We won't be using any tarmac. And let me make this absolutely clear that it will all be removed at the end of the job and will be topsoiling and landscaping. The access off the highway to our site entrance will be tarmac. The track to the lagoon and to our temporary site offices will be constructed from roadstone or hardcore. And the area around our site offices will be reinstated at the end of the job. We're actually only using a third of the field. The remainder of the field will continue to be used for farming. Following discussions with Surrey Highways, their preferred route for large vehicles is along Holly Lane and not Chipstead Valley Road. We'll also aim to avoid school pick-up and drop-off times. Lagoon access and construction will start in October and we should finish construction of the lagoon by the end of this year. Work on the main site will commence at the start of 2016 and should be complete by the end of 2018. We really like to talk to people about this and if members of the public have concerns or would like to find out more about the project we'd encourage them to talk to their local councillors, local residents associations or contact us directly.